Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Freshworks with Microsoft Teams. First of all, what we have to do is we have to create an account at Freshworks.com and once we are here at this dashboard you can see already a couple of integrations uh, through Gmail, Office, Outlook or there are uh, options for others. But uh, yeah, it will take a lot of time and not, it's not that easy. We can make it way easier. Or you can sync your calendar with uh, Google Calendar or Office. There is other way through uh, Freshworks to use integrations. Once we are in the Freshworks.com, we want to go to Platform and Marketplace on the top right corner of uh, this pop-up window. At Marketplace. We want to go to the top uh, to, uh, to the left corner and we want to go to CRM sales and marketing. We left click on this and scroll all the way down to Freshworks CRM. Uh, let's go with view more. And as you can see, there are a couple of pre-made options for us. So yeah, you can pick from those. There are a couple of uh, quite interesting ones but there is no Microsoft Teams. Uh, in this case uh, I chose to use Zapier.com where you have to also uh, create an account and once you do that you want to go to the top left corner and uh, we want to make a Zap. We get redirected to the integration itself. We can name the integration like uh, Freshworks to Teams and yeah, let's start our integration. The first one is the trigger. A trigger is an event that starts your Zap. So it will start at Freshworks. As you can see Freshworks CRM, we click on the Freshworks CRM. Uh, trigger event is one of those three. So let's go with the first one, the new contact. We hit continue. Now we have to log in to the account that we created just for this reason, just for this purpose. Continue. Uh, now we have to pick a filter. There is no add custom, just the filter names like recently imported, for example. Continue. And uh, this is where you can test your trigger. So we can jump straight to second action. Uh, this will actually do something in the app. So in this case, it's Microsoft Teams. We click on Microsoft Teams. Action event. Uh, so let's go once again with the first one, create a channel, continue. And the last thing is you just have to sign in to the Microsoft Teams and you're a few clicks away from accomplishing this integration. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you on the next video.